in an inspirational true story of a teacher of an inner city school, the emergency teacher by Christina Asquith is about Christina who left her job as a journalist to become a teacher, as many schools were short of teachers and hiring emergency teachers in the Philadelphia area. Asquith had always been interested in becoming an educator and wondered why American inner city schools are failing as well as can one young motivated person make a difference to these schools. To answer these questions, she became an emergency teacher at Julia de Barcos, lo located in one of the most troubled areas in Philadelphia. In the early 2000s, the need for emergency teachers skyrocketed. No one wanted to work as a teacher because all of these schools were so understaffed and under-resourced. Teachers would quit out of nowhere, and then all of these students would have no one to teach them. Christina Ashquith was a very popular journalist at the time, but she felt the calling to fulfill the need for an emergency teacher even though it did not pay well whatsoever and was one of the worst jobs at the time. Christina took a job at a school called Julio de Burgos, which was one of the worst schools in Philadelphia. Christina thought that she could solve the teacher shortage problem by herself, but soon realized that she is not capable of solving such a nationwide problem. Ms. Athquist's class reached 42 students after another sixth grade class was combined with hers because they did not have a teacher. She had students who couldn't read and students who could not speak English. She had two special ed students who constantly disrupted her class, but the administration would not allow them to transfer to a dedicated special education class. She also never received extra help for these students. Some of her students put effort into their schoolwork, but most struggled to keep up. This was out of her control because many had unstable home lives that included drugs, abuse, and alcohol. The schooling special education students received at Juliet Du Bois was incredibly lacking. Students had no consistency in the classroom when that was a necessity to succeed. There was a lack of specialized teachers leading to ever rotating substitutes. And finally, the substitutes ran out, leaving the children unsupervised. Without teachers, there was no curriculum, supplies, or sense of safety. Violence broke out in the isolated attic classroom filled with mold between the students. Mrs. Asquith witnessed this violence and grew extremely worried for their safety. She became the safe place each student deserves to have at their school. Her classroom was their escape from the poor education the school system was supplying its special education students.